When the gates were opened. The room around was but the haze of forms who seemed to float away, eluding of his hopeful gaze as he sought to hold them from sway. He wished he knew if she were there. In his mind he still called her name. The forgotten silence of despair no longer said it was in vain. She had never deserted hope, casting circles beneath the cloud. Now she still danced the dangled rope, wishing for laughter, not the shroud. The shaman, in his clean white coat examined with his stethoscope, smiled, and with pretense he made a note, tragedy, that he sought to cloak concealed his charge within the walls that held the company whose fate, nourished by sugar-coated balls, became addicted by the bait. Sight retreated, memory fled, with nothing said and naught to hear, flesh left alone, confined to bed. In solitude he shed the tear. She had found him in slow decay, his will fast ebbing like the tide, love that could not be locked away, life's jetsam to be cast aside. Love, not pity, now grasped his hand, warmth in her strong grip could not lie. At home the welcome seemed too planned. He sensed that he had come home to die. Tortured through those distorted years, family he believed was lost. Just one returned to soothe his fears. She is the sun, and he was the frost. His life flowed weakly as the pain took its firm hold, intent to reap. In love's lost time, he called her name, and then came the last big sleep.